Hello, I'm Jan Gleyo, I'm Head of Control Systems here and I'm going to talk about fuel today. So our fuel is provided by Total, we use about 35,000 litres a season, that includes racing and winter testing. Our cars are designed to accept just enough fuel to complete a race distance, which is quite tricky in some places like uh, Melbourne and Montreal. The challenges are to design a fuel system which can cope with high temperatures up to 60 degrees in hot races, but also to cope with the high level of acceleration the car sees through corners, especially when there's not much fuel left in the car. For 2014, the regulations have changed a little bit and the maximum pressure rises to 500 bar in the injector rail from 100 this year. And we will be limited in the fuel usage as well. It's maximum 100 kilos per race at the maximum rate of 100 kilos per hour, which is about 2.3 liters per minute. And for those who are interested in comparison with your road cars, the V8 engine fuel usage is about 65 litres for 100 kilometres or about 4 miles per gallon. Well, Korea is uh, one of these typical circuits where you've got uh, high speed corners where effectively at low fuel level it's going to be tr quite tricky to make sure we can use to the last drop of fuel for the race. So we could expect possibly some issues at the end of the race, but obviously the, the system is designed for that. So. Regulation-wise, uh, we have to have one litre of fuel left in the car at any time when it stops so that they can take a sample. And uh, this litre has to be pumped out of the car without removing any part of the bodywork other than the hatch here where the FI would come and plug a, uh, a pipe in and just pump out the fuel 